And we're learning more about Friday's St. Paul home explosion that sent a man to the hospital. 80 year old John Lundahl remains in critical condition at regions with burns and bruises. Today, we're also hearing some of the 911 calls for help. Did you actually see the house? Do you know anyone's in it? Yeah, I'm, I'm in front of it right now. There's people everywhere. The house is gone, and I saw the explosion. It was way up in the air. The rescue teams who came to Lundahl's aid are now talking about his miraculous survival. Tonight, investigators are still working hard to pinpoint exactly what went wrong. At least four structures nearby suffered severe damage, forcing many to find temporary shelter. As Bill Hudson explains, one man says he had to spend the night in his car. John Laboda is suddenly homeless, sleeping in a car after being driven from a house that's now condemned. It's a tough part right now. I'm trying to figure out um, what to do. For the most part, you know, and bounce around uh, and stay in my car. He's one of more than a dozen St. Paul residents forced out by Friday's powerful explosion, which obliterated the home of 80 year old John Lundahl and seriously damaged others in its wake. The house is just totally disintegrated. While natural gas is strongly suspected, investigators haven't pinpointed a cause or ruled anything out. It's possibly a faulty gas appliance, a control valve, or maybe a leaky pipe. It looked like a pile of rubble. Today, first responders recounted their harrowing rescue trudging through still burning debris to bring the badly injured Lundahl to safety. We went over and worked together to make sure, number one, that his airway was clear. Um, and, um, and then we worked together just to carry him out to meet uh, Medic 22 for patient care. Meantime, the Red Cross is giving housing vouchers to 13 adults and three kids. Charitable donations to the St. Paul Fire Foundation will help find them permanent shelter. Uh, identify them and then try to um, try to get them back on their feet uh, as quickly as we possibly can. It's way too cold to be outside right now, and you know, or even in the car. Forced there by a blast that damaged 20 buildings in its wake. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. If you would like to help the explosion victims, we've posted a link to the St. Paul Fire Foundation at WCCO.com.